We do welcome back to the people playground dimension. Woohoo! Fun for the whole family! It's time to torture and murder some people. The first thing I want to make is Iron Man. I want to make Iron Man in People Playground, in the People Playground dimension. I want to have a robot attached with like rocket boosters and make this guy fly. So let's pop the subject right down there. There we go. Perfect. Nice to meet you. Let's put a thruster on uh, this hand over here. So let's go ahead and no, you don't want no. <laughs> I think there is a way to like fuse them together somehow. Um, maybe I can do, it won't be ignite, geez. Maybe I literally have to use like a rigid cable or something. Okay, let's put one thruster like uh, here, I think. If I can have that like attached to the hand, that would be fantastic. So let's attach that to that and that should be attached. Yes, it's attached to his hand now, maybe both hands. There we go, so we've got one thruster. Let's go ahead and uh, see, oh yes, the other arm is free. So we need another thruster. Let's put this in the other direction. Freeze time once again. Move this up here. Rotate it around. And now we'll attach this bad boy to the other hand. Although I can't really grab the other hand right now. So maybe I need to like, uh, hold on. Move that. Get the arm. There we go. Do something like this. I can't really attach that back together now, but this is fine. Move this closer and bada boom, we are getting ourselves Iron Man. Now for the feet, I'm gonna give him like short stubby feet just like this with one thruster on each. Here's one, just like this, rigid cable right to the back of the leg here. Uh, I think that was, yep, there we go. Another one just like this. Oh, of course, it's a genius idea, Guido. This is gonna be perfect. You know, you take flying for granted. We all know that you can fly wherever you want at whatever time. Well, some people don't get such a privilege, so they need to be able to fly as well. Propagation wire going literally everywhere. Now, all we need to do is activate just one, and we are going to see this little guy fly. Let's see exactly what happens. Oh, he's just getting fried. Iron Man, no. Iron Man, are you okay? <laughs> he's been burned to a crisp. <laughs> what have I done? Well, Guido, this just proves that you should never make your Iron Man suit in real life because this is what would happen. You would be burnt to an absolute crisp. Let me just see. Let me just see the shade on this guy. Let me just have a little lick here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, uh, that's pretty burnt. To be honest, the sheer amount of information you can gather from just licking something is, is a real brain buster, is a real surprise. I think we can perfect this Iron Man though. We can actually make a guy that will survive this. So, uh, I think what I've got to do is put a thruster in there, but this time, let's keep it a little further back, shall we, Guido? Oh, sorry, yeah, I don't know why I'm blaming you. Let's put this like there. There we go, that's just far enough away for him not to be burnt brutally. And let's attach it with a rigid cable. That's right, a rigid one, so it doesn't move like it did last time. Uh, one right to the butt, there we go. So hopefully, he will be able to launch with this. I'm gonna go ahead and put a fire extinguisher on the back as well, just so we can, uh, you know, stop that all from happening. You know, all the fire being you know, burning our boy to a crisp. Just in case, just for emergencies. Now, of course, this thruster probably needs some power, so I'm gonna go ahead and give him a generator on the top of his noggin. This is going to work as like a helmet as well. That's right, Guido, this is his protection. And we are going to give him some ultra strength potions, which hopefully, hopefully will keep him alive. If I just stab these straight into his chest, just like that, uh, we'll get another one in there, why not? Just like this. Put that right in his belly button, attach these with rigid cables. Hopefully that's gonna keep this guy alive. Propagation wires going from the generator, going to the turbine, going to the fire extinguisher, going from the fire extinguisher to the turbine, going to the syringes, going to literally everywhere. This guy is decked out with a brand new Iron Man suit. I'm gonna activate this thruster and let's see exactly what happens here. So he, oh my gosh! What? What was that? <laughs> Dude, where is, oh my gosh. He's still flying around. Oh, well, it works. Look at Iron Man go. Oh my gosh, I need to freeze this. Is he still alive? Oh my gosh, it's literally, is he in there? 
I I can't tell. I think it's just like the frame of the uh <laughs> the frame of where his body used to be. Look at this. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's so loud. Okay, that Iron Man suit did not work. But by the end of today's adventure, Guida, we will have an Iron Man suit. Well, so much for that immortality potion, eh? If you can't survive a miniature nuclear explosion contained and perfectly positioned on your back... How are you supposed to survive anything else? So maybe that thruster was a bit too much. So instead, what we'll do is we will give him some mini thrusters. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, rotate this one if we are allowed. Why can't I? There we go. Let's rotate this. I'm going to put it even further back, even further back than we did before going to position this like this and I'm even going to put some on the other side as well just to like balance this thing out so let's go ahead and rotate this around got another one here rotate this a little bit further just like that so this should keep him in a fairly straight line gonna have the rigid cables once again literally connecting to every part of his body to keep him intact although that really didn't work last time i'm not sure if the generator on the top of his head worked or helped at all so uh we could try it again. Maybe that would just fry him, though. So I tell you what, let me just try it with just simply the, uh, just simply the, the, the mini thrusters here. So let's go ahead and do this. Once I activate one, they should all activate and hopefully launch him into the air. He's not moving anywhere, but he's not frozen. He's not, uh, he's not being burnt. So this is excellent. Why isn't he being launched? Maybe I just need to give him a little, a little push in the right direction. Just... Oh, there we go. Oh, he's getting burnt again. And I think his head has come off. And I'm not really sure what's happening. His legs are being burnt there. Okay. Fly. Go. He's... Oh, he's doing it. He's not doing it. So actually, when you think about it, the big thruster actually worked a lot better. Let's do this again. I'm keeping it like well back though. Like all the way over here. We're going to have a rigid cable again. Exact same on the opposite side, just like this. I also honestly think we need these, uh, we need these back. We need the syringe back. Let's plunge this right into his head and we're going to keep this in position with some kind of rigid cable. Maybe just like this. Maybe that's going to be perfect. And why not, just to make certain, we'll also put some life syringes in him as well. Iron Man take number five? Six? Let's do this. Uh, oh. Um, okay, it turns out I didn't activate the, uh, yep, there he goes. He's doing it. It's what, what even happens right there? He like, what? What is going on? What is that? What, what? I don't understand what that is. It's like, oh my gosh. Oh, he's been like torn in half. And now he's just launching himself into the corner or something. What, where is he going? What? <laughs> what is that? Guido, we have literally broken everything. There's this weird, really long, rigid cable going to a random direction. Let's just see what's at the end because I'm super curious. What is at the end of this rigid cable to cause it to stretch across literally the entire... Oh, there's nothing there. Of course. Guida, I'm telling you though, this is all going to be worth it once we finally perfect the Iron Man suit. It's just, it might take a while, okay? I've gone ahead and done something I probably should have done a very long time ago. I've given him some kind of protection against the thrusters. And this time, I think we're only going to try two thrusters. I think this is probably the magic number. We want a little bit of throttle. But we don't want too much throttle. Okay, so... Oh, that just burns his legs. Why does that just burn his legs? Why is he not being launched into the air? Do I need one more thruster or something? I think I, mean, I may need one more thruster here. So uh, let me put another one on there just while he's still uh, burning his legs. Uh, I have no idea where this one's going to go, though, so I'm just going to put this right on the back. So this is going to be three thrusters now. Is this going to lift him into the air? No, but he's definitely not dying, so this is good. Dare I use the big thruster? I'm doing it. The big thruster is back. He is back with a vengeance. Let's, uh, oh, we don't want two Gs. 
Oh my gosh, did you see how much destruction only one did? Can you imagine two? But this thing is literally positioned about, what, five feet away from him? If this manages to burn him, I'm going to be so upset. And now there's going to be a bunch of weight over here. So here is where the next part of my plan comes into play. An anchor. We need an anchor. Oh my goodness, that might be a little bit too big. But if I put this right on his noggin here, um... What? Guido, you don't remember Iron Man looking like this? This is going to counteract the, uh, the, uh, the, the thruster here, the heaviness of the thruster, and hopefully dis- uh, kind of, uh, spread out some of that thrust, some of that throttle. So let's activate this, and release- Oh, he's doing it! He's actually flying! He's in a big circle! But it's actually working. He's not dead. That's the most important thing here. But the issue is that he keeps going around in a big uh, a big circle. So we need somewhere to keep him in like a straight line. Maybe we need another thruster on the other side. Honestly, I cannot believe how ridiculous this guy looks right now. What? on God's green earth have I done to this poor man. But yeah, way too much thrust on one side. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a uh, another one of these thrusters here. Put it on the other, no, I don't want two. Put it on the other side here with rigid cables once again, just like this, keeping it in position. I'm gonna attach it to the anchor as well. Activate this one, maybe this will counteract and keep him a little bit more straight. It's working, he's flying. I can't believe it. We've actually managed it, and he's not dead. Okay, let me freeze this. I've, I've got to see this immersion. What on earth have I created? No, dirt nurse dive. Dirt go down to the ground. Oh, gosh. Is he still alive? All that matters is he... Uh, I, I, I think he's still alive. His legs are fried to an absolute crisp, but the man is still alive, and he's still flying. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you your Iron Man suit. <laughs> oh. <gasps> Expectation versus reality. I am telling you, the Avengers would have Thanos defeated much more quickly if they just hired this guy instead. Looking good, Mr. Stark.